Cooper's Alert Weather with Cassie Campbell is sponsored by St. Francis Healthcare System. Well, if you're headed out the door, it is definitely t-shirt and shorts weather. Look at that 79 right now in Union City, a calm little breeze out of the south. We are going to slowly see those winds increase as we head into tomorrow, but for right now, it's pretty nice out there. Dew points in the 60s. It is slightly humid out there as those winds rushing from the south, increasing our moisture just a little bit compared to what we are used to feeling this time of year. Looking at our satellite and radar, we are clear across the heartland. It is beautiful and calm. It's going to stay that way as we head into at least the first half of tonight. The clouds are slowly going to roll through by Tuesday evening and then move out as we get into Wednesday. Wednesday morning is going to be a nice clear start. Temperatures are going to be mild, a good commute to work or school. But by the time we get to the afternoon, still looking at some clear skies, a little bit of clouds, but the main concern is going to be these winds. Really strong winds out of the south southwest. Wind gets up to about 30, 35 miles per hour. This is all ahead of a cold front. These winds are going to stick with us through Wednesday evening. If we look just up to the corner here, north of Rolla can see those winds already coming in from the north. That's that cold front that's going to start to push through Wednesday night into Thursday. You can see those wind shift by Thursday morning. Still going to be gusty as we by the time we wake up on Thursday morning, but we're going to slowly see those clouds increase and then the chance for some rain. Right now the models are looking to keep the rain off until around Thursday evening. Could see a spot shower Wednesday night into Thursday. But for the most part, we'll stay clear until around 6 o'clock Thursday. We'll get some more widespread showers across the heartland for Thursday night. That could linger into Friday morning. Looking at our winds, though, that's going to be the main concern. Wind gusts as we head into tonight are slowly going to increase. Wind gusts up to about 20 miles per hour overnight before they really start gusting by tomorrow afternoon. Lows tomorrow morning are going to be in the 60s, lower 60s across the heartland. But it's not going to take long for those temperatures to really ramp up into the 80s tomorrow across most of the heartland 80s tomorrow. But look at this, a big drop in temperatures as we head into the end of the work week 62 on Thursday. Those winds are going to shift into the northeast, bringing the chance for a little bit of rain as well for again, likely Thursday evening into parts of Friday morning. That's why we have that 10% chance of rain still lingering into Friday, but a majority of the day is going to be sunny. We're going to see those 60s sit with us for the next few days headed into the weekend, a gorgeous weekend ahead of us. Look at that sunshine temperatures in the 60s. That is prime time for this time of year. Average highs around 61. So we are going to get back to near average as we head into the weekend and really headed into next week. Overall, your evenings are a little bit warm now, but give it a few days once that front moves through. Even your evenings are going to get a little bit chilly in the 30s.